The Large Hadron Collider is one of humanity's most controversial scientific projects. Deep below the Earth's surface, international researchers are experimenting with subatomic particles in an attempt to uncover the blueprint of creation. Some say it's ingenious. Others say it's dangerous. Although the organization CERN always presents its world's largest particle accelerator as completely harmless and safe, quite normal people, but also some critical scientists, doubt the purpose and especially the safety of the experiments. After a nearly five-year hiatus, the Large Hadron Collider went back online last year, and what scientists discovered there, we share with you in this video. But before we get to that point, we'd like to ask for your input. Share your opinion and expertise with us in the comments after watching the video. If you're a subscriber, you'll always get a heart from us as a small thank you, and we'll pin your important post to the top where everyone will read it first. Just make sure you've already subscribed, like the video, and mention both at the beginning of your comment. On the track of creation with the Particle Accelerator The world's largest and fastest particle accelerator is located in Geneva, Switzerland, near the border with France. Thanks to superconducting magnets and proton beams, the Large Hadron Collider can collide particles at extremely high speeds. Now you may be wondering what the point of that is. Well, the problem is that while we humans know of the existence of subatomic particles, we have never seen them. In fact, we have never even seen an atom. These particles are so tiny that even the most powerful microscope on this Earth would not be enough to make them visible. We only know of their existence and can describe them because we perceive their interactions. This is exactly what scientists are doing in Geneva. They are chasing the particles at extreme speeds so that they can study them on the basis of their reactions to each other. This is currently the only way to find out what the building blocks of our world and the entire cosmos are made of. In 2016, the Large Hadron Collider was shut down in a completely unexpected move and was recently put back into operation. The new experiments in Geneva are running with even more energy and the scientists are setting one record after another in the hunt for the God Particle. What's really going on in Geneva? Just before the shutdown, this apparition over Geneva caused horror among the population. The appearance of this lightning twinkling portal in the sky coincided exactly with the start of the AWAKE experiment in the Large Hadron Collider. AWAKE is a proof of principle experiment to study the use of plasma wake fields, which are propelled by a proton beam to accelerate charged particles. Press spokesmen claimed that there was no connection whatsoever between the thunderstorm front, which was presented as quite normal, and the awake tests. Oddly enough, however, there were several other striking natural events around the world surrounding the start of the experiments. However, the operators of the facility continued to claim that there were no correlations, but critics see it differently. Finally, it became known that not only particles are accelerated and studied in the depths of Geneva, scientists also use the shielded nature of the facility for strange experiments with weather and artificially generated clouds. Ostensibly, the tests are designed to help understand global warming. But critics say experiments like these could wreak havoc on the world's climate. They argue that we still know too little about the connections and interactions and can't be sure that experiments taking place below the ground won't have an effect on the planet's atmosphere. CERN researchers, of all people, should know that there are no boundaries and no distances in the world of particles. Critics once again became alert when the Large Hadron Collider was shut down in 2016 after a major earthquake took it completely by surprise. The World of the Smallest Particles Atoms, electrons, neutrons, and protons have been known to the world of science for more than 100 years. But even then, researchers suspected 
that there were particles even far smaller than these. The quanta are light particles, which were long considered the actual building block of matter. But in the meantime, we know that there are even smaller particles, or quantum is not equal to quantum. Quarks, top quarks, W and Z particles, the Higgs boson, or even the strangelets, which form the building blocks of strange matter, are just a few of the many elementary particles that we know of today, thanks in part to CERN. The discovery of the Higgs boson was frenetically celebrated in 2012. The press even said that the CERN scientists had finally found the god particle in Geneva. With this smallest particle, it should finally be possible to explain all the origins of matter, and at best, we would finally have deciphered the blueprint of the universe. Since this phenomenal discovery, things have officially gone quiet around the CERN facility. Future discoveries have not been shared with the public quite as loudly and conspicuously, and there is supposedly a good reason for that. Dangerous Experiments Deeper and deeper, researchers in Geneva are penetrating the web of the universe and the world of the smallest particles. In the process, researchers have found even stranger and more unpredictable particles and forms of matter. For some scientists, a limit has long been reached in this field of research that we had better not cross. Such voices have long come not only from ordinary people and concerned residents in Geneva, but also from international scientists. If you want to understand matter, you inevitably have to deal with the elements of dark matter and antimatter. And that's exactly what the researchers in Geneva are doing. In the process, researchers in Geneva are said to have inadvertently opened a portal. According to some para-researchers, this had already existed in 2016 when the Large Hadron Collider was unexpectedly shut down. Then it closed again, and with the resumption of experiments in 2022, this gate also opened again. At worst, the work in Geneva will catapult us into another dimension, or we will inevitably move towards a major global catastrophe. Supposedly, we normal people have not even noticed how the Earth has moved to a new level of reality due to the new operation of the Large Hadron Collider. Critical scientists predict that their gloomy predictions will soon be confirmed. The shift in dimensions will be most noticeable in the overlapping of truths and events. These people also claim that the Mandela Effect is evidence of this living in multiple dimensions and truths. The effect is named after the former South African freedom fighter and later president, Nelson Mandela. Surprisingly, a large percentage of people around the world assumed Mandela died during his imprisonment in the 1980s. But in fact, the man was released from prison in 1990 and rose to become president of South Africa after the end of apartheid, which he had fought so fiercely against. Some of the people who believed in Mandela's death even claim to have seen the funeral ceremonies on television. Later, they found themselves in a reality in which Mandela was still alive. Psychologists claim that behind this effect was a misinterpretation of the mind. Others, however, think that here two dimensions and realities would meet. Another effect by which we shall soon notice that we are now already in another dimension is the appearance of far coarser particles. So, if the scientists in Geneva soon announced to have found such strangely coarse and never before discovered particles, it could become serious. What exactly the dimension change would mean for us, however, even the critics do not know. Maybe Mickey Mouse suddenly appears, Nelson Mandela still lives, or we disappear into a gigantic black hole. At this point, you surely must have some idea, of which you could share with us afterwards. The experiments continue. In Geneva, people either laugh at such dark prophecies or do not take them seriously at all. The scientists here are already fully occupied with their new projects. They are on the track of a mysterious fifth force of nature. Beside the gravitation, the electromagnetism, the weak and strong interaction, there should be at least one more elementary force in the cosmos. This could be truly like the gate to a new dimension. However, this realization would be completely harmless 
according to the CERN researchers, and an enrichment for natural science. Neutrinos play a special role in the latest tests. These particles shoot through space in gigantic quantities. In just one second, around 100 billion neutrinos pass through every square centimeter of your body. Neutrinos have often been called ghost particles in the past. They are subatomic particles that resemble electrons, but have no charge that we can measure or know about. They are created in stars as a result of nuclear fusion. Shortly after the Large Hadron Collider was turned on, scientists rejoiced because for the first time, they were able to visualize a neutrino. We do not yet know what role these particles play in the cosmos. They seem to have a low rate of interaction with matter, yet they are certainly important for some reason. Neutrinos are known to pass through thin forms of matter without difficulty. From 2006 to 2016, researchers took measurements in Antarctica and discovered something outrageous there. The Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA balloon for short, was able to measure not only neutrinos coming to us from the cosmos, but also a mysterious neutrino swarm from inside the Earth. The incredible thing was that the swarm had apparently traveled 7,210 kilometers from the Earth's interior. But this is not actually possible. The big question was how particles, which are produced by nuclear fusions, could come out of the Earth's interior. There was an interesting explanation for this in purely mathematical terms. According to this, the neutrinos could have come to us from another dimension. Or, neutrinos are able to penetrate thick layers of matter. The discovery alone shows us again how little we know about the particles that CERN scientists deal with every day. Neutrinos from the Earth's interior prove that particles do not stop at thick walls or the possibly limp safety precautions in the Large Hadron Collider. Now, you tell us what you think about the experiments, safety, the latest discoveries, and also criticism. Do you think the knowledge about these particles really helps us humans? Or do you see more of a danger in such experiments? Let us know and share your important opinion with us in the comments. Remember to mention your subscription if you have one, and to like the video. We're glad you joined us today, and hope to see you soon back at Simply Space.